Peggy 3. This is new territory for me, yeah, it was pretty funny. I thought it was good fun. We hit all kinds of shots you hit on the game, whether it be chip shots to into out swings, full swings, lob shots, putts, the whole bag. I'd like to see how it transforms from, from little silver dots into uh, to real life motion. I don't get stressed on the course, come on. <laughs> uh, how do I handle stress? Um, count to 10. Um, just, you know, just, just let it go. I mean, you just have to, uh, if something happens, let it go, carry on. You, you can't carry it with you. I practice more on the range than I do on the golf course. Uh, probably at a ratio of 90% on the range and only 10% on the course. Uh, in my weeks off, I, I practice as opposed to play. I just feel that I get a lot more work done in uh, the hours that I have on the range than what I would do if I was playing on the course. You know, with the Europeans right up there in the world rankings, it, it, makes, um, it makes it achievable right now for a, a lot of guys to be able to push forward uh, in a period of six months uh, and actually take that number one spot. So yeah, that's a huge goal for me to, uh, to play well over the next six months and try and try and take the one spot. I do think, uh, you know, the group of players that are in, certainly in the top 20 of the world rankings right now have, have taken over from the likes of Seve, Faldo, uh, Montgomery, Woosnam, Lyle, uh, and so on and so on. I think it's, uh, I think when you look at the rankings, they've certainly, um, you know, taken, you know, taken the top 10 in the world rankings over by storm. I think the best golfer I've ever played with is, um, I'm gonna say my son. He's only seven. I'd like him to be the best. I'm Ian Poulter and I'm in the game.